Web design should be mobile first, right? We get a lot of comments on this, many of them suggesting that this practice has been established for a while now. If you're new to this conversation, let me quickly bring you up to speed, explain what it means and where this attitude comes from. The majority of the traffic comes from mobile, so the argument goes. Therefore, mobile first is the logical approach. That means prioritizing the mobile experience over the desktop by creating a streamlined, user-friendly interface that functions well on smaller screens and then progressively enhancing it for larger devices. Now, most of our commenters are polite and appreciative of all the valuable free content we share with you, but quite a few are bullish on mobile, claiming it accounts for 90% of users and therefore desktop is simply an afterthought. In reality, the latest stats suggest that mobile accounts for 63% of global web traffic. That means more than one in three users are on desktop. But we need to dig a little deeper into these numbers. Where are these users coming from? And what are they doing? The proportion of mobile traffic varies wildly by country. In Sudan, it's 83%, but in the USA, that drops to 57%, and in Denmark, only 36%. Now, let me ask you this. Would you rather be selling to customers in Sudan or Denmark? That, of course, depends on your offer. But it's a simple fact that the average Danish company or Danish consumer has much more buying power. Secondly, a significant proportion of mobile traffic is driven by social media usage. If social were removed from the equation, then desktop usage would almost certainly make up a larger proportion of overall web traffic. And finally, when considering these numbers, think about buying intention. For big purchasing decisions, desktop still dominates, particularly in business-to-business -business settings where users are often conducting detailed research or procurement tasks. If the Swiss government are making a shortlist of architects for a billion euro project, the officials probably aren't using their phones exclusively. Every time we show design portfolios here on the Flux channel, people again cry out that we should show the mobile version, the most important version. Now, your portfolio absolutely should be responsive, working well on any device. But in my 20 year career, I can only remember a couple of times when a creative was hired based on a social media profile or a mobile website. In my experience, it's on desktop where we evaluate creative work when we're in the office and we have time set aside to make these decisions. One source I found claims that B2B mobile traffic tends to convert at a rate three times lower than its desktop counterpart. Now, these last two points are anecdotal. I appreciate that and you may have other stories, but the reality is that global mobile traffic data is overstated, it's unevenly distributed, it's skewed by the heavy use of social media and it's not reflected in B2B settings. There's an understanding already that desktop websites don't work well on mobile, but it has to be acknowledged that the reverse is also true. Mobile websites don't work well on desktop. The limitations of mobile first design arise from its very nature. Interactions are less complex. For example, there's no hover on mobile. This constraint can affect the depth and richness of user engagement found in a desktop version, where effects, tool tips, more complex interactions can enhance the experience. And secondly, layout. The screen is physically smaller, very narrow, and we simply have fewer pixels to work with. The larger desktop canvas means more possibilities like multi-column layouts, creating tension within the composition, a dramatic use of scale. Moving mobile designs to desktop can also create the problem of content dispersion. This is what happens when content becomes overly dispersed across a long scrolling page with expansive white space and enlarged images and fonts, making it difficult for users to consume and understand the information when it could easily have been grouped together so it could be understood as a unit. So should web design be mobile first? I'd say that responsive design is essential and the order of your process isn't necessarily crucial, but when considering first importance, it's about knowing your audience and the context of your website. Sometimes desktop is the most important and therefore I believe in those scenarios, it should be considered first and given the most attention. Keep this conversation going in the comments, Sam. Until next time, happy designing.